thank you for choosing the 573 series backflow preventer. This quick installation tips video will help give you a general overview of what you need to know to get started with your installation. However, the first thing that you should notice when you open the box is going to be a nice set of installation instructions. Be sure to read them because they will cover everything that you need to know about your product. Out of the box, your backflow preventer is pretty much ready to install. The one thing that you will want to do after you get done installing it is to make sure to tighten down the union nuts that are on either end of the backflow preventer. Inside there, there is a sealing washer that is going to need to be compressed down to make a good seal. Best practice for installation is going to be installing the backflow preventer in a horizontal run of pipe like I have here with the vent connection facing down. It also makes sure to observe the uh, flow arrow on the actual backflow preventer itself so that way you're pointing it in the right direction. The unit can also be installed in a vertical orientation so long as the flow arrow is facing downwards. Before you do put the backflow preventer into service, you'll want to make sure that your supply water going to it is clean. Any dirt, sand, or debris entering in the backflow preventer can get lodged in the seals and cause the backflow preventer to leak out of the vent port. On the inlet of the backflow preventer, there is going to be a screen to catch any large debris. It's pretty easy to take apart these unions and check that screen. You'll notice it right at the inlet of the backflow preventer. Also notice that there is going to be a sealing washer in there. If you're going to take this guy apart if, uh, after the unit has been installed for some time, make sure to have a replacement sealing washer before you put it back together. If any small debris has made it past the screen at the inlet and gotten lodged in the seals causing the unit to leak out of the vent port, the unit can actually be disassembled and cleaned and put back together. When installing the backflow preventer, you're also going to want to make sure that the vent connection at the very bottom is left open to the atmosphere. This connection cannot be capped off and it cannot be piped in such a way where the piping could fill with water or be piped back into your system in any way, shape, or form. You can, however, connect up a drip pipe that goes down to your floor or to a floor drain. Just make sure to follow any local codes. Another recommendation is to install isolation valves upstream and downstream of the backflow preventer should you ever need to take it out of service and clean it or replace it. In some areas, your codes might require it, so make sure to look into that. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have any further questions, make sure to contact your wholesaler, your rep, or us directly. And thanks for watching.